through through Vaidhi Bhakti, one will attain the form of an associate in Vaikuntha. So Mahaprabhu clearly saying, if you perform Vaidhi Bhakti, you will attain a form in Vaikuntha. Aishvarya Kyane Vithi Bhajana Kariya Vaikuntha Keyaya Chaturviha Mukti Pana. Those who worship according to scriptural commandments, being aware of the Lord's superhuman prowess, attain the four kinds of liberation in Vaikuntha. So now we now, we now see that these are parallel paths. We always thought if we follow long enough Vaidhi Bhakti, we come to Raganuga Bhakti. But actually, Rupa Goswami is saying both are parallel parts. And the only one, the only thing why we have attained now Raganuga Bhakti Sadhana is because of the mercy of our beloved Guru Devas. So now Mahaprabhu is saying, and now comes his innermost desire, which I find very beautiful. Raga Bhakti Brache Swayam Bhagavane Paya. Through Raga Bhakti, one will attain the Lord Himself in Bracha. Raga Nuga Marge, Tangre Bhaje E Jana, Se Jana Pai Braje Vrachentra Nandanandam. He who worships on the path of Raga Nuga will attain Brachendra Nanda in Bracha. Sakala Sakala Chakate More Kare Vidi Bhakti. Vidi Bhakti Vracha Bhava Paiti Nai Shakti. Very, very powerful. Bhava Paiti Nahi Shakti. No power. Aishvarya Kyanete Sapa Chakat Mishrita. Aishvarya Stila Brema Nahi Mora Paiti. Again, Nahi. Two times Nahi. No. Everyone in this world worships me through Vidi Bhakti, Vaidi Bhakti. Vaidi Bhakti has no power for attaining the feelings, which we are talking about now, of bracha, as manjaris, you can say. Oh. The devotion of is mixed with knowledge of my divine prowess. I, and now this is Mahaprabhu saying straight and clear, I, Sriman Mahaprabhu, do not delight in love diluted with prowess. So he himself is saying, I don't like this Aishvarya Kyan a single bit. I only want pure love in the form of Madhurya Rasa, in the form of Manjari Bhav. Wow. Real, this is really beautiful. And he, he, go, he goes even further then, explaining more and more. But this is now really very important to establish that um, Vaidhi Bhakti is there and Raga Bhakti is there and the culmination of Raganuka Bhakti is Raganuka Bhakti Sadhana in Manjari Bhav. And so we are very, very fortunate that we come to this point where we now understand that Vaidhi Bhakti is there. We practice several, like in Vishwanath Chakravadi Pad is saying in uh, Ragavat Machandika, we observe the etiquettes of certain Vaidis, for sure, Ekadashi and bowing down and all these things. But our innermost desire, our innermost driven uh, desire is to long for the, the love of the one like Rupa Goswami says, Sita, Sita Deha, you know, the following uh, Chatra, who, Chatrahi, this beautiful verse. We follow after the bhav, the emotions, of a particular uh, resident in Braja. And this means for us Rupa and Raghunathas. This means for us Rupa Manjari and Radhi Manjari. And finally, of course, Guru Manjari. So this is the culmination. This is what we are striving for when we sit down and meditate. This Abhiman, I belong to this Parampara. This is actually our Parampara, Mahaprabhu's mouth is our yeah. parampara. He is clearly saying, I do not delight. I have no pleasure in bhakti mixed with knowledge and pride and power, like Aishvarya Kyan, you know, this Karma Kyana Mishra stuff. So we are now so fortunate that we can start and, and go on and journey through all these stages under the tutelage of our beloved Sadhu Maharaj and the words of my beloved Gurudev, which are Vani, 
which are eternally and powerfully existing. Baba is not gone. Baba is now sitting with us and telling us these things. And so this is so important that we know we should not be afraid of Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti means fear. You do something out of fear. So we should come to the point that we do something for the Lord and for Swamini because we like it. This is not an easy thing, but by the mercy of the Mahachans and, and Sadhus like you all and the Vaishnava Sangha, we are able to do this. But we should have a clear head. What is the real and powerful intention? Mahaprabhu is not giving this qualification for anything. He is giving away this qualification, which was never Uch, this was Uchvala ma, never given before. This Uchvala Bhakti Rasa Swak Bhakti Shriyam, it was never given before. And this should be like, you know, like an alert in our mind that we are so fortunate that this path of Manjari Bhav is now there for us according to Mahaprabhu's will. Sorry if I spoke too long. <laughs> so nice, Tadun Baba. Uh, and I'm I'm very happy that you also uh, give some ads from uh, different scriptures because what we feel is not a speculation. It is proven by the Mahajans. That is not that uh, we are wrong and others are uh, right. No, no. The teachings of our uh, gurus are proven. They are not speculation. You can see when we read here, they always made a point of uh, different slokas from different scriptures. And as uh, Tarun Baba says, no, this is a verse from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Many uh, of these uh, open feelings we get are proven uh, by the Mahajans and even uh, by Ma Mahaprabhu himself. No, and this is also this is I, I I have this was also my conception when I was in the beginning. All, honestly speaking, in, in 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 bhakti, nothing is right and nothing is wrong because Mahaprabhu himself again. This is also very interesting. Mahaprabhu himself is saying those who are fixed in their path, those who are fixed in their rasa, think that their rasa is the best. So everyone who is fixed in their own rasa, it may be. You are in a friendship, you know, like Sakyaras or parental Vatsalya Rasa. So everyone who is situated perfectly in their Rasa, he is perfectly happy. It's not that he is right and he is wrong. So we, are, but we don't care about these things. Yeah. We are in the line of Rupa Goswami. We are Rupa Nugas and we only care about Manjari Bhav without being condescending or without being saying you are wrong. So this is also interesting that Mahaprabhu is such a broad minded, you know, he is Krishna himself in the mood of Swamini, that he says everyone who is situated in their own rasa is perfectly happy. So this means really that we should never think that our chosen path is the right one. It is right for us. And, yeah. and we follow Guru Mukha Padma, what Guru Dev is saying, we follow. So I like this very much, and there is no fight and there is no conflict. You follow, you know, you follow, you make your own, and I make my own. So this is really an important and loving point. Yes, yes, that's it. And, um, yeah, I know. He relished this himself and concomitantly made the people of this age also qualified to relish it. It's amazing. It's really amazing. So, Suniti, here we can now continue. continue. Yeah. In this verse, Sri Raghunath perceives Swamini's flower-picking pastime. You are picking flowers with your crooked and Rasika girlfriends. No? That is in the beginning, in the verse, the mood. And that means that in Braja no one deals with Krishna 
in a simple or submissive way. This is called Vamya Bhav, and in this mood, the erotic sweetness of the Yugalaki shore becomes crystallized. Here Gurudev also explained that to understand this different levels of meaning of the same words, you need a, 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 a guru to understand this really, to get it. That there is sometimes something said, but the meaning is completely different. And uh, so the same is this Vamya Bhavna. This is, there is different levels of, of uh, uh, what is written here and what is the meaning behind this. Therefore the words Rasa Kutila are used here. They will quarrel with Shyam over picking flowers. I know you are Subrata. You are dedicated to the vow of delighting Shyam. Is Guru Dev is here or yes, is, is he there? But he is not. Guru Dev. Are you there? Yes. I'm missing your explanation of Sufrata Jaisirade. <laughs> Very right, very, very honest, serious in the promises. Sudra. Here, Krishna is, took the promise to be a Dasi of Radhika, take the mood of Radhika. He took this promise, Subrata. Real promise he took and doing very serious. <laughs> that is this Subrata to be a Manjari Bhav, Radha Dasi Bhav he took to practice Manjari test of Radha to become Mahabhav. Without explaining explaining of the Guru, we will never understand these topics. Not possible. He is teaching Krishna that we have to be also Subrata. We have to also take this honest Brata to be practiced like Krishna to Anjali. Mm -hmm. Signing the promises. Huh? Promises. Promise. Signing the that we love Krishna. We love when we follow what he is doing. He's teaching us to do like that. He promised himself to be practice Manjari Bhav, to always live in my Bhav, Ma Bhav. We never test but in it in Krishna Vila Parashan. In Mahaprabhu time he This is the specialty of taking. For Guru Manjari, Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. If we not know our Guru Manjari, we cannot understand Rupa and Rati Manjari. Hmm. And we cannot know our Guru Manjari if we don't practice to live in Manjari. I know you are Subrata. 
You are dedicated to the vow of delighting Shyam. When will you delight me? By engaging in such false and crooked quarrels. Shibangi Bihari Vidyalankara writes, Subrata means a girl who is dedicated to the cause of making the Lord of her life happy. That is the best vow. There is no greater vow than that in the whole world. Prema means thinking. How can I make Krishna happy? And the Braja Sundaris are in the highest class of lovers that are endowed with Mahabhav, which is the quintessence of Prem. Premera Paramasara Mahabhava Jani. The minds and senses of those who are endowed with Mahabhav are saturated with Mahabhav. Mahabhav consists of the greatest nectar and helps the mind to return to its constitutional position. This was also the next topic we share so nicely in uh, Gurudev's association. And uh, that means in that moment our mind comes in contact with Mahabhav, even a drop. Mahabhav will occupy this mind. Then there is no more space for any material thinkings. It's fully absorbed because this Mahabhav is, is the quintessence of all feelings one can ev ever get spiritually. And in that moment one uh, tastes this drop of Mahabhav, he forget everything. If you get a higher taste, why to go back to a lower? Gurudev said, in this sense is everything is stinky what comes out of this body. <laughs> uh, but in, in this Mahabhav, in a spiritual body, all is Mahabhav. We also read one verse where uh, Raghunath Das uh, do the service of cleaning Swamini's um, pot. Latrine. 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 So in a material way we cannot understand it that he cleaned it with his own hairs. This is materially, it would be a, a, a stinky thing. But spiritually she is Mahabhav and everything what comes out of her body, spiritual body, is also Mahabhav. And this is amazing to understand that this moment we get a drop of the Mahabhav, our mind is fully uh, absorbed in this. And this is a, 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 an enormous bliss feeling. And uh, the senses follow the mind, right? So the mind is the boss. If the, if the mind not think about some sense gratification, then uh, the senses are peaceful or they only like to uh, uh, to serve in that way that they serve to our Swamini. This is a very deep meaning here. And uh, actually this is the constitutional position of the mind. It's interesting. So we are in a in a wrong uh, position. Actually, our mind is not on the right place. I want to I want to say if I if I if I may if I'm not too much talking, it's okay. Please, please, Tarun. 
Um, like you say, this uh, come into contact with Mahabhav. Many of us may ask, <clears throat> yeah, how, how can I come into contact with Mahabhav? And this is what always Gurudev is saying, to hear about the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Otherwise, we cannot come into contact with Mahabhav. I don't, I don't see Radhika, I don't hear her, I don't smell her, but we can use the ears to hear her by the mouth of the Mahachans, by Baba and by Gurudev. So in the Bhagavatam, there is this very, very wonderful verse in the 10th chapter, 10th uh, candle, chapter 33, verse 39. So, Suniti knows it very well. Vikriditam vratshavatu pir idam cha vishnaho shradhan vitos nuri nuyad atta varnayed ya bhaktim param bhagavati pradilap ya kamam rit rogam this lust of the heart rit rogam ashvapa hi not ya chirena dhira so this is a very very wonderful verse which makes this point so clear like Gorasundra just said whoever hears with nishta, with faith, and narrates the loving pastimes of Sri Krishna's with the ladies of Bracha, will attain the topmost devotion for the Lord, and will swiftly become grave and serious and give up the heart disease of lust. And Baba is making here a very wonderful point. He is saying that we should not hear the pastimes of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan, the Nikunja Lilias, after the heart's disease is gone. He is saying in the explanation that actually this is a process. This is going on. So by hearing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, by hearing Radha Rasa Sutanidhi and uh, Vilapakusumanjali, this disease of our heart, will go away and uh, again the mind will be purified by that and this is the most powerful most purifying thing when we hear the therefore baba is always giving in nearly every verse of both of these books he is giving pastimes of radha and krishna because he knows that this verse is very important that by hearing this we come into contact with swamini and krishna and in association with Gurudev, even better if the, the Mahajans are present and the Vaishnavas are present, it is even more powerful and even more powerful in Snigda and Sachadi Sangha, like we have now. Mm. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, my, my feeling is also that we are uh, in a, a directly contact uh, to those who actually have it. Uh, that means uh, Mahaprabhu is the source who brought it and uh, his associates they brought it to the whole world but we can we can see when he was in the jungle there is a description that even the animals around him tigers and, and uh, other wild uh, animals start dancing uh, they don't understand even nothing, words or whatever. By, but by his uh, Mahabhav, what, what? Vibration. Vibration. They, they got this injunction in their hearts because love is also in the animals. We can see how, how lovingly a tiger is touching the babies. We know well, there is a lot of love. And um, to come in contact with them, it will happen. And this eternal liberated souls, we can say, like Raghunath Das and uh, Rupa, they come here and they let it here. They let this, what they got from Mahaprabhu, they, this Mahabhav, is still here. Mahaprabhu gave it in the form of uh, uh, the Mahamanta again and again, mm -hmm. but also this in the line of Rupa and Raghunath, it's still there in the form of our Guru. So, we can take part of it. We get the blessing of Mahaprabhu through Rupa, Raghunath, our Gurus. It's a uh, it's a great, great mercy we will we we get, and we are very lucky. What you say? What have you done here, Baba? What was your arm? That 
looks heavy. Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> I was cutting. I was cutting some some stuff outside the house. I, like oh you know, we have a little. We have nikunchas, nikunchas around our house, and I was cutting, and I. I dropped off the ladder and I fell against oh the house, God. so I scrubbed oh against God. the house. It's nothing serious, no problem. <laughs> Karma is coming, you know. <laughs> what to do? What I would like to add, maybe, what I feel, because I was chanting this mantra for many, many years, but not the depth of the feeling coming with that. So whenever there is a new uh, feeling coming from Gurudev and from all the Vaishnavas, then my heart becomes also inspired to go deeper and to feel deeper. Because yes, by reasoning and by logic and by uh, jnana, it is uh, easy to understand that we are very lucky. But how to feel it? in my everyday life. Mm. So, when I heard this wonderful new feeling about the Maha Mantra, that actually mm. Radha and Krishna have united in that and not only simple uniting, no, they have they have exchanged their roles. Krishna became Radhika. And then Radhika also became Krishna. Because they are never separated, right? Because when Krishna wants to be and feel Srimati Radhika's love, which is the highest of ecstasy, which is called Mahabhav, then also Someone has to be Krishna, right? When he becomes Radha. So that uh, that deep meditation on that point make my heart very joyful. And it gives me a new light on the chanting. And also it made me, my Radha Nishta, more and more strong. Because now I feel Swamini. Because I remember always when Gurudev was right, is singing the songs go ranga bolite habe pulaka sharir and he says when when is this uh, coming that when i hear the name go ranga or sing the name go ranga my hairs will stand on end this hair standing on end will not come by logic and will not come by knowledge it will come by feeling that go ranga is Krishna, who is in the Mahabhav or Sri Radhi Radhika, so he has become Shrimati Radhika and distributing. So when he is Goranga in that feeling, it is very amazing and understandable that she is not attracted by Gyan or by any Shastric, you know, feelings. Because she is the personification of all feelings. So when I feel Swamini more and more and deeper and deeper in this Goranga and then listening the songs and then listening all the Leelas, newer and newer feelings will come. And for myself, I feel that it's like a refreshment of feelings in the Mahamantra. And by this refreshment, I can also grow in my bhakti. Because sometimes, you know, we do the things that we know are right, but to feel it is a different a different thing. It's a you know, it's the feelings come with the realizations or with the how you say mercy to feel things in a completely new way. And that is always the like a gift like a surprise. Oh my God, I was chanting this Maha Mantra. I was chanting all the Gayatris because my Gurudev told me to go it, do it. And I want to be a good devotee, right? I want to be even a good Dasi. But how can I feel it? So 
So this feeling for me, it has been refreshed by listening Golda Sundas and Gurudev's uh, wonderful, wonderful feelings that they were sharing in Vrindavan. And some drops of this uh, sweet kata have also come into my dry heart. So I feel refreshed. And that refreshment, I feel this is really also Swamini's mercy, that she will re reveal herself in newer and newer ways to the Dasis or those who want to become her Dasis. That is my uh, impression and that is my um, gift that I get from listening this. And I know for the life of my Bhakti, I need to have newer and newer and more fresh feelings. Otherwise, my head will take over again. <laughs> my mind is so used to being the boss. <laughs> the mind is the, you know, the boss of the senses. Okay, good. But how to come into the heart then? That is by this new uh, feelings that come by new uh, revelations. I don't want to call it realization because in this case it was a revelation that was coming from Vrindavan, from Gurudev, through Gaurasuna and all the devotees there, Gopika and Radhachara and who else was there. And uh, this uh, also is a very important um, method, I think, that even if I don't feel so much, then I connect with those who are living in the feelings. Because they are maybe, you know, get some drop of mercy and then I also become very thirsty to get this drop into my heart. And all of a sudden, by getting this drop, oh, this also I want to express, everything else becomes uh, new. I feel Goranga new, I feel Mahamantra new. And Gurudev, you were sending me that song. I also want to share this. There's this song that we all know very well and that Srila Narayan Maharaj liked very much. It's sung, it's interestingly sung by one devotee. His name is Radha Mohandas. And it goes like that. Sake. Kalaya Gauramudaram And it's a very, very uh, well-liked uh, bhajan amongst all the Vaishnavas. And when I listen this song again now with this, you know, with this mercy, this drop on my head, in my heart, then really I got the goosebumps. Because I was, I was thinking, my God, Lord Chaitanya, he is Radhika. For sure he is Radhika, because now Krishna became Radhika. And distributing these feelings to all of us who really want to become servants of the eternal and divine love. And then I got some more feelings by singing this song and new feelings. And I think that's what I need for my bhakti. I don't know about you, but we all, I guess, we are yearning for newer and newer feelings and realizations so that our progress, our plant of bhakti can grow to the next levels. The minds and senses of those who are endowed with Mahabhav are saturated with Mahabhav. You see? And Mahabhav helps the mind to regain its constitutional position. So I feel the Swamini's mercy is coming through different, different channels. And the love that she has spread by, you know, that feeling that she has been giving to Krishna. It's still, like Gaura said so nicely, it's still around and it's still vibrating. And when I get connected to that in one way or the other, by mercy, by surprise, by, you know, praying intensely, then the mind has no more separate existence. And that means for myself, eagerness is increasing 
I want to deep dive, you know, dive, not only swim, deep, you know, go deep and feel it and find the jewels. And the thing is also that it's not so much an active uh, thing uh, that depends on us. It's an uh, act of mercy. We, uh, it's not that we need to fight against the mind and the senses. No, we have to be ready for Mahabhav. We have to invite Mahabhav. Then she will take everything. There is not a job or a big work. No, we have to intense desire that she will come in our heart and then and even if it's not only one drop of Mahabhav is entering, then the mind is, this old meaning is finished. There is no more left over. And this is, this is uh, uh, Swamini's mercy. And the only thing is we have to be greedy and invite her. Please come. Please take take me. Take over. <laughs> I'm for you. <laughs> no? It's not we, we not things we can do and we fight against our senses and, and mind. No. No, she will do. The senses act according to the mind's direction. And in this way, the senses of the Braja Sundaris also consist of Mahapa. Therefore, it is logically proven that all the activities of their senses are dedicated to and dominated by Krishna. And now comes this point what you make that is so deep. All the Braja Sundaris means all the gopis of Vrindavan. They have Mahabhav. But Sri Radha is Mahabhav, Swarupini herself, the form of that. She consists of nothing but Mahabhav from the tips of her toenails up to the top of her head. And this is the this is the beauty of the manjaris, my dear. This is the beauty of the manjaris that we, the gopis, all have Mahabhav, but the manjaris have a very very special position uh, between all these gopis because no one else but the manjaris can feel the hate and the the senit of Mahabhav like, with Radhika because they are the closest to Swamini. They feel exactly like her. The gopis all have Mahabhav, but the Manjaris, Mahabhav is even more high and more value because they are so close to Swamini and their only interest, these uh, groups of girlfriends of Swamini, the Manjaris are the only ones who want to please Radhika the most in meeting with Krishna. So therefore their reward, their inner feelings, their experience is so deep and high because they are so close to Swamini. And this is the, the uh, my Param Gurudev, Kunja Bihari Das Babaji Maharaj, he says, this is the superiority of the Manjaris. He's talking in Rasa, of course, not in, you know, and he, he said, this is the superiority that the Manjaris, by their effective closeness, experience the most closeness and most pleasure in serving Swamini. Mm. And it is transferred by feelings. Injec injunct injection. 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 Good if, no? <laughs> it's injection. Heart to heart. I am thinking the bhav is very important for the ragabhakti. Where are you going? And what is the problem to get the feeling? I am researching when we, you are talking. The problems come 
Oh, when we want to live in the material identification, and we want to identify material, then we lose that. Mm. We influence with the material influence. You can say material feeling. Atma Sukha Priti Vancha means I want to enjoy myself. Material feelings are also there, but it Atma Sukha Priti Vancha means Dare Kama Nam. This is Kama. We have a material feeling, but for my happiness, for my enjoyment. This not give the reality of the life. And we waste our time in Atma My sense enjoyment and my feelings. And that is Kama. For Kama means I am start living in the karma. To get the result of that karma. This is Sukh Prithivancha Dare Premna. When we give this not for us to His service, that is the Prema. And that Prema is the real feeling for developing our spiritual life. And that, that we need mercy to move from what we are doing from so many lives to change in other way of life without mercy not happening. Mm. And today, Purnyam is reading about Sikshastakam. Uh, how the mercy, how Baba is telling. Also, Guru Kripa is not happening in life. Guru Kripa is really not happening. The name tasteful not happen. It happens this way. Listen to the words of Baba. The morning we were reading the Shikshasta come first verse, and there was one very nice part. Mm. Telling about the power of Maha Mantra. It says, I cannot see any other means by which one can atone for all sins and destroy desires to commit them as well. More? Okay. Yes, it's one a line above Yanagar. Yeah, on that yeah, yeah. I'm there. Is this yes and that leads from there? The paths of Yana and others may destroy sins. Mm -hmm. The paths of jnana, meaning intellectual, spiritual realization, and others may destroy sins also, but along with the sins, they are burning the heart. You see, this is the problem. What is the problem? We burn our heart also, then feeling how it will come. 
to collect the information, we burn the sin. Yeah. At the same time, we burn our heart also. Yeah. Because we are using mind. Yeah. We become so hard to our own heart. Heart. So I stop feeling. Yeah. What? What a beautiful poem he writes. Mm. Only this the quote, you know? uh, Beautiful poem he writes. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 No disturb me. Punyam, you will continue reading there, huh? Yes, I, I repeat this, no? Also. This is not. The the paths of Jnana and others may destroy sins also, but along with the sins, they are burning the heart. Only the chanting of the holy name can wash the mind and heart. You understand? Only. Jnana, what, jnana, what knowledge we want? To burn our heart over. <laughs> Only the chanting of the holy name can wash the mind and heart just like Ganga water and make it pure and clear. There is another valuable reason. What is what clear? The reality to clear. Who I am and what is the way to do? Only without chanting, without chanting, it will never happen. I also feel it. By collecting information, never happens. There is another valuable reason why the heart of a chanter easily becomes purified. If the Lord hears his holy name uttered by whosoever, he becomes very attracted and will give him either his personal audience or will shower him with his grace in some other way. What is that is that? That time he will all fulfill. But more to know. That is important. Tarun Baba, you have to come. Listen to this word. Yeah. Go on. In this way, by the grace of the great saint, faith and affection awakens and the goal is reached by taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru. Yeah. Then it happens. But then we take real shelter. Shelter means no personal desire. Totally surrender. We cannot surrender. We are so independent. 
we don't want to surrender. And this cannot come without this surrender to the Guru Dev, because the way of the feeling and higher feeling, it can flow from that way. What is the way? Parampara. Parampara means the lineage of heritage. Heritage from the parents, we heritage or not? What we will heritate from our Guru? His realization we will heritate. What he has, I have to, I have to get it. That is heritage. If I not get it, then I have no heritage, his heritage, the, the worst wealth of him. I have not got it, anything. <laughs> and we lose to heritage that. And what is the real wealth in our life? To realize myself and live in that self. My constitutional position, this we got heritage from our Guru Deva. Then feeling grows and a higher feeling, Mahabhav, becomes close to us. Wow. Punyam is reading in morning, it's 2.33. Wow, it was so beautiful. I cannot explain. Yes, Guru Dave, so that inheritance, that what we get from our spiritual, you know, family, that is something that wealth. is very important. We are wealth, we have to buy book and proof. <laughs> we but have to get it. <laughs> we have to associate with the saintly people that the test to take shelter of the March or something. Surrender, no any desire left. That is another. To get his heritage, nothing else. We need to get rich, yeah. When my bhav will be a spy, my bhav will sure is the way path is right. These words rare to find other places. Yeah. In his Stava Mal, oh no, sorry, are you reading on uh, uh, Punyam or oh, am I reading? Done, done, you start. Done. You. Thank you, also beautiful, so nice. And I think, Gurudev, one of the greatest mercies that I have felt in my life is to feel Mommy. that my Gurudev really wants to give this heritage to me. That is, uh, that is, uh, you know, in the material world, the heritage is often, you know, something that people fight about. I want this much money, I want this much money. But in the spiritual heritage, to really, you know, believe in the treasure of that prema, 
that is coming and that Gurudev is waiting to give and waiting to distribute. That is, uh, that is a very, very deep feeling that I have and that you are giving so generously, Gurudev. The great understanding and feeling of the heritage. I'm receiving uh, you from all of you. <laughs> You are the expansion of my Gurudev. You are teaching me. You are keeping me. You cannot jump out. This is your fence. Leave it here. No holidays. Okay. I am Yeah. The fence of love, Gurudev, for the Bhakti Lata Bija. The mass, the Guru expansion. Fencing is also Gurudev. It's a Deku, it's a Shamri. Where I will see is my Gurudev. When the Gurudev expands in everywhere, then Swami appears there. He's a navigator. He shows the way at this. Tarun Baba, I am right of some mistake. How can I, how can I say, good? what you say is perfect for our ears, very perfect. This is the point, surrender to the lotus feet of Gurudev, thank you, so nice. I am my Jananda Maharaj, I don't see him, I don't listen to his words, I don't know where he is. Maharaj, Jananda Maharaj, where I am you living here? I'm listening, Gurudev, your sweet words, you know, and uh, really, really touching, touching my heart, and uh, I need your mercy. <laughs> so, I, I just felt to this Unity Didi and others say, Suburati, su, uh, subura, Suburata, Suburate. This is Manjari saying to Radhika, Suburate. So, Tsunite was saying, Radhika become, Krishna become Radhika. And Radhika become Krishna. So Krishna took the mood, this Suburate. So Krishna took shelter of this Mahababa. Not only Radhika's Mahababa, Krishna took shelter of Manjari's Mahababa, which Tarun Baba said. Yeah, oh, this is Dananda Maharaj, yeah. This is point. And Tarun Baba said, Manjari's Mahababa is even more higher than Gopis, or well, sometimes even Radhika. Wow. So, therefore, this Suburate is Gurudeva's showing us how to take shelter of, of this Mahababa. And then how to, how to take shelter of Mahababa means Gurudeva's teaching us how to take, take shelter of the Gurudeva from wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. Wow. And then, <clears throat> so, Radhika saying, Krishna Mai, whoever or whatever sings Radhika is Krishna. Black sings, whatever Radhika sings, Black sings is Mohan, Krishna. So Gurudev was saying, Gurudev's vision is Gurudev Mai. Gurudev was thinking his disciple is like a Gurudev's expansion. This is really amazing. Means everybody, Gurudev's vision is everybody superior than I. Everybody is expansion of Gurudev to show us, teach us the way. 
Wow. This is, you know, we are easy to puff up. And, uh, but the Guru Dev is everything, Radha's mercy, everything Guru Dev's mercy. And this vision, I, I, today, I run. Especially Punyaji's word is kind of, uh, piercing my heart and, uh, and, and then melting. And the Guru, and Baba's word is so, so, Thank you very much, Guru Dev. Wow, amazing. And to chanting Mahamantra also. Sorry, sorry, I'm realizing. But what I need is more greed. Oh, I wish to this heritage. I wish to have this Mahababa. This strong determination is called the Suburate. Yeah. And, and then Gurudev was saying last time, <laughs> such a brata. Suburate also, another meaning maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, such a brata. What is Satcha Brata for us? Nita is Satcha Brata. Nita is mercy is Satcha Brata. Radhika's mercy, our Guru, Guru Manjari, our Parampara's mercy is, they are doing Satcha Brata. So we try to follow Satcha Brata or, or su, su Brata, su, su Brata. He is saying, vocative, therefore, suburate. This is, uh, oh my God, Guru Deva is uh, showing us how to, how to surrender, how to, how to follow our Guru Parampara, and how to take shelter Mahababa. Today, I am so much purifying Guru Deva. Thank you very much. And Suniti and Tarun Baba. Thank you very much. Really more. Yes, go ahead. All the Praja Sundaris have Mahabhav, but Sri Radha is Mahabhav Swarupini herself. <laughs> this line I explain. Explain this line. Who good if? Who should explain this? Well, it is all, everyone. Go in deep in this. The gopis, anyone who wants we to see. We are only one day, only this, this talking old morning. Wow. Gora Sundar and uh, is explaining this line. Wow. Really, wow. You, I, you go deep in this. Where yes. is my Gora Sundar? He escaped or what? Yeah, no, no, Gurudev. It's always like some service here in the company because Vishwadeva oh, yeah, is not here. Escape, some guests came, he had to go and yeah. take the care. Yeah, you see. But he, he go in the this line is beautiful. The Braja Sundar is also Gora, Gora Sundar Ji was uh, expressing they have Mahabhav, they have some mercy, they have this because without this feeling of, you know, being a Dasi of Shimati Radhika who is Mahabhav, no one can enter Vrindavan. We need to have, you know, that identity to be a serv servant of Srimati Radhika. But Srimati Radhika is Mahabhav. 
She is the essence and the all in all of that which makes Krishna happy. She is his heart and therefore to become, you know, to have her feelings, Goranga, in Goranga, Krishna had to become Shrimati Radhika. So that so is... Saying, I am and is. Yes, that is the point. Right. Have and is. It's two words. Is means original. And I have means who want to take is a brother Sundari, not Manjari's. This brother Sundari has a Mahabhav, I have Mahabhav, not is Mahabhav, for Krishna. Yes. Otherwise, he is not attracted at all. No. This Mahabhav attracts like Radhika for Krishna. Read this very deep, very deep subject. All the Braja Sundaris have Mahabhav, but Sri Radha is Mahabhav Swarupini herself. Also, also it is very important. Why is Maha, why is Radhika Mahabhav? Because she is Ladini Shakti. She is the pleasure giving potency. She is the one who can give Krishna the most, most bliss, the most powerful love. So it's in already in her nature. She is Ladini Shakti. She is this personification of utmost bliss. So by her nature, this what means Mahabhav? Mahabhav means greatest love. So by definition, by her own nature as Ladini Shakti, she is the one who can give Krishna the most pleasure. And those who are the most closest to her, the Manjaris, they can feel this Mahabhav to a certain extent because they are Tadvatmik, they are so close with Swamini, they are, there is no real difference, she feels not shy. So this is also, this Ladini Shakti is a potency which, which is so powerful that even Krishna submits to that potency. So that is also a very important point within Mahabhav. So that's why, Gurudev, that what what really catches me is because she is that Mahabhav and when Gauranga becomes, you know, when Krishna becomes that Mahabhav, uh, that's that's the, the thing that is like a byproduct that like this we can come in contact uh, with the feelings of Mahabhav through this Mahamantra who is injected with that feelings of Srimati Radhika. Because Gauranga is is actually Srimati Radhika's walking Mahabhav, we could say. It's Krishna who became that yeah. Mahabhav. So because of that, because we come in con contact with that, it's the only way that we can also serve Srimati Radhika because she has given this. She has given this in this age, in this Kali Yuga, in that Mahamantra. And that's why it is Paraki above. And that's why it is attracting Krishna. And that's why it can transport us to the spiritual abode of Goloka Vrindavan only. Yeah. Wow. So it's actually her. It's all her, Gurudev. It has and it was and it will be only her all the time. And Krishna has become her pupil, her disciple. He wants to, you know, be part of that. Her glorification, her feelings, her love, her service. He also wants to relish it. And therefore, he has to also relish Manjaripa. And that's how they are coming. In this Kali Yuga age, they are coming like this one package, Mahabhav, you know, taken, you know, Krishna is, is um, you know, so to say, embraced by that Mahabhav, he becomes that Mahabhav, and also as a byproduct, he's giving that, they are giving it. And that's why, although we are in a very uh, unfortunate position, we always want to enjoy, we always think we are the body. But by this power of this Mahamantra and that infusion of Mahabhav, which is inside of that, we have a chance to connect with that and to serve Mahabhav. Yeah. 
So that is amazing. Maybe someone else would like to share on this. Okay. Uh, this also, this Mahababa Swarupini, this Radhika's flooding Shakti's personification, also Swarupa Shakti's personification. And also, Radhika has not only Mahababa, highest Mahababa, Madanakya Mahababa. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so anyone, anyone who contact with Shurimati Radhika to, 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 to approach Krishna or to approach Nikunjarira, Everybody has to take, sh take shelter this Mahababa, Swarpini, Shurimati Radhika. Without taking shelter of, of Swamini, Radhika, nobody can enter Brindavan, especially Nikunja, Nikunja Lira. So, and I was thinking, so we, we had the COVID. So whoever contact COVID patient, sometimes we become, you know, we affected COVID. So similarly, whoever contact someone who has Mahababa, then we also, we infected with Mahababa. This is Guru Parampara. This is mercy of our Guru Dev and Guru Manjari and our Parampara, because our Goranga Mahaprabhu's Parampara is Manjari's Parampara. Means someone who has Mahababa, especially Madanakya Mahababa, that is Parampara. Therefore, whoever contact properly in this Parampara, we could heritage of this Mahababa. So this is, I beg Gurudev and all Vaishnavas, give me this heritage of Mahababa. Rade, rade. I think we can even go one step further. So, so like, like Jayananda and Suniti said, without Swamini, no one can end up in Darwin. I would start at the beginning. Without Swamini, we cannot even perform bhakti because without, without Ladini Shakti, there is no bhakti. We can try yeah. and try and try and try and try. There is no bhakti without Ladini Shakti because bhakti means a combination of two things. Bhakti means a combination of Sambit and Ladini Shakti. Sambit means who am I? I am a Manjari. And Ladini means I am blissfully serving Swamini. So I would even start there that Mahabhav is Ladini Shakti. Without Ladini Shakti, without Swamini, there is no bhakti. There is no chance of any bhakti. So our prayers go to the lotus feet of our Gurudev, who is the representative of Swamini in her manjari form. So without Radhika, there is not any chance of performing Raganuga bhakti. For me, this is this is like when I was in uh, in Iskon or when I was in years before and before and before. This fact was not known. So by the mercy of Narayan Maharaj. And, and my Gurudev, and now Sadhu Maharaj, our Gurudev, he reveals that even Prabhupada is saying this in Bhagavad Gita, which has never been shown to us. Prabhupada is showing this in the Bhagavad Gita, that the pleasure-giving potency is the Alpha and the Omega. So we always should surrender to that Kripa Moi, Kripa Mai, this really, really ocean of compassion of Swamini, which is only her mercy that we can perform a single step in our bhakti life. Wow. And also, we have some hope because Krishna say, ye, ye ataman prapadante. As you surrender, according to your, your surrendering, I also reward accordingly. But Swamini does not say like this. Swamani is just to give and give and give and embrace and give, 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 because she's Pradini Shakti, Pasoni. So I was thinking, Prema means, Pradini Shakti means give, give, give. 
how to please more, how to please others. This is radical nature. So we are some hope because radical is so merciful. Gurudev also very merciful. And also Vaishnava also very because this is we need the mercy of Sadhguru Bhakti. I was asking you one question, Gurudev, but you didn't answer this. What? I said to you, so when we feel that Krishna has become Radhika, and Radhika has become Krishna in this Mahamantra, because they are in this exchange of love, Then also Kam Gayatri and Mahamantra, if we chant in this intention, they have the same same feeling to them. Mm, right. Yeah. Ananda. Jai Ho, thank you, Gurudev. I wanted to know that because it is true that we can chant, but like Narayan Maharaj always said, we can chant for many, many millions of lifetimes. If we don't have any uh, Sambandha, Abhideya and Prayojan, that knowledge of who I am, in which relationship I am, and that I'm not this body, but who am I if I'm not this body? In which body should I, you know, serve and how? If we don't have all of this and we are chanting, then the Mahamantra will give some pious, some good results for lifetimes. But chanting with the feelings that came by the mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, that is that Manjari Bhav, this possibility to be a Dasi of Srimati Radhika for all of us, because just because of that mercy that they came together and feeling each other in Gauranga, in the Nikunja Lila, and not only that, Nivrita Nikunj. They are exchanging their roles. They are in Prem Vilas Vivata. They are in the highest ecstasies, as Mahaprabhu was expressing. And then chanting with these feelings or with this memory and that connection, then also something more can happen, then Swarup can reveal. So, Sri Radhi, it's so beautiful. Thank you all for joining. I have to apologize, my Gora Sunda Ji, because he had some duties to do here in the country. Suniti, Suniti yes. there, is a very, there is a very wonderful video of my Guru Dev. I think it's on my Radha Dasyam YouTube channel where I think you, you, you call Kishore is asking Papa who is Radha. And I... Uh, I, I say to everyone who is listening here, look that video, it's like two, three minutes. Baba is giving a very, very ecstatic response, who is Radha? And Baba is giving an explanation, who is Radha? It's very, very wonderful. It's just three, four minutes, but it's so posted, beautiful. Posted, Baba, on, on, posted on Radha Dasyam, na, would you? All righty then. I will. And and please, please give us some essence, you know, because you are, you, you, you start saying, but stop it. <laughs> this is you look at, you look at, and you will see it. It's beautiful. Why, why tease? Look at it. It's just two, three minutes. I posted in Radha Dasam. It's very, very wonderful. Papa has so much fun answering that question. He's laughing. You will is see English, it. You English speaking English. Very good English, very short. He's not saying much, but what he's saying is blowing your shoes off. <laughs> 